Okay, hi. So I've not done one of these for a while, so I thought I would uh, look got another one. Uh, it's a box been out for a while. It's not a, uh, a new box of man by any imagination. It's a uh, old style, um, and this is Norman Knights by Conquest Games. So this came about because myself and a group of uh, friends have decided that we are going to, while we're in lockdown and other things, try and get a, a force for Lime Rampant built and painted up. So 24 point for Lime Rampant by Osprey Games built up. Um, so I've, we're going for early crusade period. So Norman Knights fit into the early crusade period quite nicely. Um, I've got two boxes I'll be going through, but I'll do this one first, Norman Knights, and then we'll also look at the Devolt Foot Sergeants, but I'll do that in another video because the other two boxes I'm using for my um, my force, and actually the two boxes are enough to make a 24 point fo force uh, actually with men to spare, so we'll go over it. So I've already opened the kit, and I've actually started building some already, so I've painted them already, so we'll go over and show the built ones and paint ones uh, a bit, but I just want to go first over the box itself. Um, it's nice artwork on it, it it's not the best artwork that uh, is out there. Um, but they've used like quite a nice uh, period painting for it. Um, the actual models on there are really nice. When you see the models on it, you can see one at the, the bottom corner there. Um, it's nice and shows you good what, what they can be and what they look like. Uh, on the back, again, um, it talks a bit about, obviously, Norman Knights and what they're for. But actually, and it's got a unit of... Um, men at the back they're made up now obviously this is designed for a 15-man box so it's designed for a 15-man unit um whereas the unit i mean as you can see a 12-man they've built to show you 12-man units to give you three spare obviously i'm doing line rampant so they come in uh units of six so i'll be able to get two units out of this and a spare one um and then obviously if i ever decide to do another unit i can buy another box and make more units out of it I'm using this box to make uh, two units. First unit is uh, six mounted men at arms. So for that, I'm primarily going to be using, well, I am using the ones with uh, leather and fabric, leather and sort of fabric kind of uh, torsos and heads. And um, the squad leader is going to be in chainmail. And then for my other unit, I'm going to do men at arms, mounted men at arms. And then there's enough chainmail in there. And obviously the leader there will have the plate mail. Cause, well, not quite plate mail, but um it's not it's a bit better than chainmail on the model the only downside is they don't give you fully enough um sort of leather and cloth armor to make a whole unit all in cloth and leather but it's a minor uh, issue um it's just because i'm using it for uh lime rampant that i want that just to make it look just as help separate my units from mounted men at arms to mounted sergeants so that's the only reason why i need it for shields there's a nice mix of shields in there, we'll go through them in a minute. Um, some are borders, some are without borders, depending on um, if they've got their hands attached or not. Um, weapons, you've got swords, uh, obviously you've got the spear um, on it, and obviously you've then got a, a flag as well for one. So if my units, because obviously there's only one command group in the box, I'm using the, the horn blower for my mounted sergeants, and I'll be using the uh, the, the one with the, 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 the pendant, I'll be using him for my men at arms. So we'll go through the sprues. Obviously, I have cut them out already, so um, there will be gaps in sprues, but we'll go through them later on. It's not a problem. So first off, I'll find a full sprue, and we'll go through now the full sprue that I was looking at. Um, that's not quite full, because it's missing a man on it. Uh, at these, So the horses are really nice. Um, there was one issue I found building, but I'll go over that later on, which is mainly the head, but we'll go through it. Um, there's three different styles of... Um, sorry, I try to focus. I apologise. Three styles of horses, um, and it's repeating now. Obviously, it's meant for fifteen men. You get four bodies and three horses on each sprue. Uh, they do then also give you a, a little sprue with just three horses on, so just the bottom part with just three horses on to make up for what you need. Because obviously, there's not enough on it. Um, so there's the shields we're talking about. So you've got the shields here. You've got this one here, which has no border on it. Um, and on the back of that, there's a hand attached to it, which I quite like the back of it. There's more detail on the back. And that one there, again, there's holding it in detail on the back. Uh, and that one's got a wee little board around to it so you can use. Also comes a round shield as well. I'm not using them, but they're not suitable for my period, but they are suitable for if you do Normans and Saxons. Um, and then there you've got your swords there and spears there. So these are the, the chainmail bodies, obviously. Um, you get three in each one. And then you get the heads there. The only thing I wasn't keen about on the heads, um, it's not as evident on the chainmail ones 
Um, they're a bit, you see a bit, they're a bit bogged on the head, which is fine for chainmail, but for the cloth ones, it seems a bit much. Um, but we'll go for them a bit more. That's the main sprue. You're also doing get a command sprue, um, which I will. Yeah, you can see the paint ones there. I've done. I've started to paint there, but we'll go through the command. So, so I've got cut off. So this is the uh, command sprue um, that you get with it. Obviously, I've taken a lot of them out because two of the guys come with padded uh, cloth torsos, which I really want to use for the Matt Sergeant just to keep more of the same. But what is nice is you do get the uh, the wounded marker. It's quite nice a bit of scenery. Uh, if you get a pennant, I'll show you the horn that in a second. And then you get the main leader, which say he's not quite chainmail. He's more of a, a plate kind of on him. I'm not quite sure what so it is. He's there. He's your leader's body, obviously. And then your head for your leader um, is this one here, which has sort of the crown embedded on the, um, the helmet. Again, you get shields, uh, same thing. And the horses are exactly the same on this sprue as they are on the other. So you do only get three types of horses, three poses. But it's not in the world, even if you're doing a six mounted man or a 15 unit, you don't really know. Obviously the shields, the um, oval shields are off at the moment, so we'll, we'll show you them in a second. So the detail's quite nice, the horses are really nice when they are put together, it is easy to put them together as I said before. But we will go through that and I'll show you just main issue, hopefully you guys see it on the painted models more than uh, on these ones at the moment, so obviously not put together. So they're a nice unit, so you get enough for, um, for 15, but say most games you are only using... 12 or I'll say 6 in the case of, of line rampant 12. So this if I can focus it in This is one of the ones I've made up that's been sprayed ready to be painted So I don't mind that head's quite nice and nice thin. However, if you look at the other head again, I've gone for cloth because it is the, the mount sergeants It will focus I apologize You can just see there it's quite a chunky head um, Which I'm not quite sure if I'm happy about but it's not the end of the world. The other thing about this, I don't mind. At the moment, it's like I'm using the upright spear positions, which is quite nice as sort of marching forward rather than charging forward. However, there's not many of them. Um, so actually, I think I've used them all up on these guys. So actually, being able to make a unit the same, you're going to be looking at um, these kind of thrusting motion ones um, for the rest of them. Unfortunately, it's just the way that it, it works out. Um, but we'll play with them more, and I will play them up, build them up, and once the army's finished, I'm going to do a bit talk through it. I'll build up what I've done, and I'll show you the more all built then. Looking at the horses, so I've got two of the ones I've painted here, um, and that, and these ones aren't. But you can see the neckline there. I haven't molded ones because I was going to do a video painted them to show you the difference in them uh, and what they do. Others aren't as bad. But no matter how much you line them up, and they took a while to line up these, you can see the line on one side is fine, on the other side it isn't. And that's with it sort of at the top there, the level, but the bottom it just slightly protrudes. So the heads aren't very good. I've talked to a few people about this, uh, a few of the things I know have got it, they're having the same problem. The heads just don't quite line up with uh, the body that you've got. Um, but they are like, say so when they're made up, the actual horses' bodies are really nice. There's quite a lot of detail in them. It doesn't take them much to bring out that detail um, and then keep it very simple. But actually, it looks, it seems to have worked really well for me, so I'm quite happy with that. But it was the neck issues I had with them. And then I've got those two. This is the the unit as it comes into focus now that I've painted. Again, the horses are the same sort of issue. The heads, but I'm not the fine. The poses are actually really nice. The horses. Um, I haven't glued my men on, they are where I've got the uh, sticks here, I've just cut them short and I've just drilled a hole in the horse so I would sit them on. So the idea being that once I've got it all made up and played out, there's a couple of horses that seem like they're charging forward, um, this one, uh, that one seems, and then obviously one back here, um, charging forward that I probably want to use for the ones with throwing spears rather than the ones with marching, so I can play around that a wee bit uh, as we go. The kit is really nice, it's not an expensive kit, I don't think I paid, I think I paid about 20 quid for it, if that. Um, it's really nice, the box art, so if you're a box person, I wouldn't say it's the best art box art out there. Um, but they do give you, on the back, a very nice close-up for the models, you can actually see what they are, what you are getting. And there's some lovely paint ideas of, for the horses especially, because that was my whole thing, what to do horses, I've not painted them before. But also sort of for shield designs uh, and what they can use, so in that respect, it's a nice wee kit, 
the box that gives you nice pinches. I say my would have personally liked probably different options with the spears, um, more like a lance kind of idea with it rather than throwing. But then obviously historically this is what they've done, so they've gone for more accuracy with it. But they are nice models; they do fit nicely. Um, and, that, and that's so it's that's the box of Norman Knights Conquest. I'll put a video up on you. I hope it's on YouTube. I'll try and mix it together or have it separate, but we'll see. Um, I will be going over the mount, uh, the foot sergeants for Devolt next. That will probably be a day or two. I'll get that up. Okay.